Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not a fear to die. See, I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing clan on crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. There's a wetcha Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. That scorn I hear in your voice. You've good ears. Folks say this witch got Croc wrapped around her finger. Orders everyone about. Word is she's vicious at it. But a hag's a hag. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. Fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Slower. We're about to rip his lung out. Show me what you got from the surgeon, and that's when the bird flew the coop. Keen watch they kept. Fucking hell. That's it, Roach. Our time amongst the living is but the wink of an eye. What's left when we are gone? How shall we be remembered? Will they speak of us with respect or disdain? Bran was a great man. We shall remember him as a hero!
You need not do this, child. I know. But I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed long ago. Silence. It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates? of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanid? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Reading my mind again? Hmm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler. Baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this Baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Siri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen, Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. 
Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Ciri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Ciri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Listen, Witcher. There's some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none of it comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him. Well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Let's talk about my pay first. A bit too modest for my taste. That's just a bit high, Master. That's dear it is, but could be worth it. All right, I'll pay you what you want. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. Come on. So droves of his kind on a voyage south. Sir, a king? Clan of Clan Twice Island? Our valiant king! 
See how little Red is our loss. All the must fight. see the change your demise has wrought. We offer you our means, the symbol Ow! of our valor, as you were the valor of the Isles. Our skull shall be bare till a new king sits upon Skelliger's throne. What? Let's drink to Bran of Clanswares. Let's drink what to Clan of Clanswares. Let's take the burden of this fair Glory realm. and honor range every oh. which way. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and the luxury. Her megascope? Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhart said, megascopes and toothbrushes, deeply personal possessions. Not something I'd ever wear, but what don't we do for our... Hmm, who exactly is she to me? Glamour. Scent of lilac and gooseberries, even with a lid on. Taste hasn't changed. Stuffed unicorn. She fixed it. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. Struck and come to see the goods. hung there half a day before they got him down. I've always said only a fool would hang himself in midair in a wooden box. But sail in the sea mm. in a wooden box. More That's why. You fall off a ship, you can always swim. Fall off the lift, all that's left is the funeral. <laughs> Adventure seeker. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. 
You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me, but on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. Lovely outfit. You look... dashing. Thank you. You're... dazzling. <laughs> you know I really missed your candidness. I'm glad we're here together. <sighs> Don't like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Breaking black. What have you brought Nick for the farewell feast? Bread, and suddenly, sheep's milk cheese. Lays. Our wagons full of milk. Ready from the black ones. We've also wine from the temples of Melissa. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. We've got to drive the corpses out of you. Answer to me. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krok on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand. Blue boy Lucas, Madman Lucas' firstborn. And choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Forgive me, I remember our meeting all those years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. Crack, her da, and her big brother Yalmer call a Sparrowhawk. A Yal's daughter she is. Fat lot of good it does her. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? <laughs> you didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. 
And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. Lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. That'd likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. To Ceres. Pass the mead and a tankard for the man. To Bran. He want for nothing in the world beyond. To my beautiful companion. You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. You have no shame. Shame? Why would I? The Queen should join her king on his last journey. Tradition demands it. I take a close look at that shaman yacht. They say he poisons the arm. Geralt, this is Holger Blackhand, Berna, Bran's widow, and our hostess today. You've already met her. Widow? A widow's duty is to lie beside her husband. A widow's duty is to care for the king's son. Not by our customs, it ain't. Your customs are barbarous. A custom that demands widows burn themselves alive? Too harsh. Foreigners. Holger, perhaps you'd like to show us the meaning of courage? Walk willingly into flames? I'm sure we can scrape together some wood. Calling me a coward? Calm yourself, Holger. You speak to a widow at her husband's wake? Heard a lot of good things about Bran. I will miss him sorely. I was not his first wife, but I bore him his firstborn son and saw him off on his final journey. We lived a great many years together. Let's move on, Yen. High time we did as well. Come, Svonriga. <laughs> Bern is a scheming whore. Refuses to admit her reign's ended. Bran knew how to keep her in line. Let's drink to his memory. Bran. A great king, a great man. May our next king be his equal. Geralt. All right. Let's go. Got a minute? Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mimi don't agree. Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the Isles from the inside. 
folk grew furious, came when there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. Farewell. My god, we died a hero. That's Faced just three black ones the alone. Tavern. They cut off his arm on the shoulder. Hold us, let his own throat. Wouldn't let himself be took prisoner. I you will who his love. I, I couldn't help overhearing. Fate was unkind to your menfolk. Widow's Isles. That's what Skellige is. To you continentals. War started a half year back. We've been fighting Nilfgaard for years now. And we're not like to ever stop. Your husbands died glorious deaths. Oh, why? Gotten captained a longship, near three dozen men aboard. Raided half a dozen Nilfgaardian villages, filled his hull with captives. On the return, they came across a black fleet, three galleons. But our men did not flee. Instead, they drew close and boarded. Gotten chopped off an Imperial captain's head. <laughs> then they backed him against the rails. He died with a war cry on his lips. My hunter was a scout. Snuck into the enemy's camp. Hounds sniffed him out. When the Black One surrounded him, he slit his own throat, refused to let them question him. Grach sure to see that you're cared for. Women don't need men to care for them, Geralt. The sorceress speaks true. We take care of ourselves. War and death are twin sisters. We've long known both. No one mourns here. Tears we replace with vengeance. The women of Skellige are fertile, and we birth no cowards. Farewell. May your sons make port as many times as they sail out. As the gods will it, so shall it be. Must say, I like the women of Skellige. It's as if each one would make a good sorceress. Can't think of a single sorceress from Skellige, let alone a famous one. Litanade, known also as Coral. Don't you remember? Well, what is it? Aye. How are things on Pharaoh? There is always. It's pissing buckets and fucking freezing. See, you're bursting with pride. No use cutting sea shit with honey. Pharaoh is a rock overgrown with pines, but with no need for them. Can't eat pine wood. But use it to build a longship, and you'll eat your fill of what others have grown and bred, after you've taken their wenches and their gold, burned their homes to the ground. That's how Clan Dimon lives. Farewell. Is she who's this year? Who's that? What did you say in the beast sailors? The gods are not kind, Jarl. Our isles are in for hard times. What's that mean? The isles are in for hard times. Speak clear. The heart was deformed. An ill omen always. An ill omen for me as well. Hear me. What'll become of me? Fear not, Jarl. I'll not let you perish. I assure you. You need only follow my counsel. I present to you Geralt of Rivia. Geralt, this is Udelric, Jarl of the Brockford clan, from Speakerog, and his advisor Hjort. The White Wolf. Greetings. Gotta say, never really believed in omens and auguries. One's belief, or lack thereof, makes no difference. Tell him what awaits him, what you told me. Your fates will intertwine, yours and Udelric's. You will walk in darkness. Before you, fire and shadow. Hear that, Geralt? Everything clear now? Didn't plan to visit Speakerog. Man is not the master of his fate. Thanks for the prediction. You do not believe now, but you will yet remember my words. If you don't mind, Yen. I'd like to ask about us. What's the future hold in store? The one you seek, you will find. And then she will die. So I won't meet a tall, dark stranger? 
I shall have to content myself with you, Geralt. I sense the mockery in your voice, my lady. But may omens do not lie. Nice to meet you both. A toast to honor King Bran's memory. A worthy gesture, Udelric, but I need to keep my head clear today. Got an important conversation later. Strange man. I hear he's very sick. Carrying himself unusually well tonight. Yes. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the black ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing, total war with the Empire is another. Awfully melty, this one! Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some toy version. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak! Show us what you're made of! Move the benches! There's to be some gob slapping! Seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed, deeply so. No offense taken, forget about it. That I like. And the knocking, it's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Sure, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor, meet him for an ale in the tavern near Aaron Bjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. No hard feelings, but we'll have to drink another time. Yes. We've important discussions ahead. Yo, land rats are all the same. 
Fear to your wenches. Who's the sheep? Greetings, Geralt. With Bran gone, by my count, that makes you the eldest of the Jarls. Aye, it does. But I trust it'll not be for long. Ah, not like any of the others stand out, age you? Nay, but I'll gladly pass the honor to the next in line. I've lived my fell, steeped my hand in the blood of foes, felt the warmth of the southern sun and the bite of the northern winds, the touch of women of the east and west. Now, I wish to die a death worthy of song. What's new on Hindersfjall? New! Lofoten lies in ruins. The garden has been devastated. And now we must deal with an Ulfoden. In short, everything's ground. Farewell. Well, what is it? Two clans on one island. Tough to be neighbors so near each other. A neighbor is one who lives nearby, not one who stole half your home. The Oncrete seized our lands. In the days of Harold the Cripple, that was three centuries ago. Doesn't change the fact they had no right. I'll rid Art Skellig of crack and his brood yet. Just out of curiosity, why do they call you Madman? Yeah! That's one. Farewell, Lucas. <laughs> What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. Behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Brass peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All right. Nightingales croon. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> This'll be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic.
amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. an arrow if you saw that in the woods. Had one at Kaer Morin. <laughs> Please. A basin of water? For teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. The door's locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out! Monsters. I can feel them coming closer. They're everywhere. You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Urboros must be here. Wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlove. A biography enhanced. Yes? A goat carved out of lindenwood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Sword in a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. A child's skull.
laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. Triple Mead. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraiths sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Seems Ermion has real tobacco brought in. This, a detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms, even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. Need something else. Gotta look around. Let's try again. What do you say we give it a pine cone? Hmm, nothing. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh, seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. Geralt, come here! This is it! It. We must return to the feast quickly before we be Damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. <laughs> 